fucking fine. This will be my side then. Jesus Christ. Fuck you, Mazoga. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, guys, gals, and of course, non-binary pals, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion, where Mazoga has just absolutely ruined my morning. Oh my god. No, I don't want to do this again. <laughs> Lean on something. No. Bro. It's not worth it. I had it all set up. It looks so nice. It looked so... There, stay, stay, stay. Good. I'm gonna move my shoes. No. Um, anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna be having breakfast here inside. I realized kind of in the last video I didn't eat anything. Uh, I was so preoccupied with the absolutely insane adventure we were going on. That's not gonna work. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, take all the random crap out of these two things and sort of use these as my own personal storage for now. Um, I'd like to keep the, um, the chain mail. Uh, and there's a few pieces of clothing I wanna keep too, but I'm actually gonna keep them in these drawers. All right, the capes. Uh, right, um, and then I think I'll put my, my clothes in there as well while I'm out and about adventuring today. Close all that up. I can just like rest the sword behind the bed. Don't fall, don't fall. Well, we know it's there. Welcome to trying to decorate your house, the series, where Mazoga absolutely ruined my whole day. I hate it here. Does anybody have any tips? Pro tips for leaning shields? What about this corner? This looks like a good corner for a shield, you know what I mean? <gasps> no! It looked so cool for a second, yeah! Okay, and we're back. I gave up, I put the sword and the shield in the fucking chest. Um, We need to go into town and get some breakfast and sell off some of this stuff that we got yesterday and then continue our quest trying to find this, um, this, uh, oh my God, I'm totally blanking, uh, amulet. Yeah, look at that, for, for DeGale and the Mages Guild. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, we got our gear on. I got my new rapier, it looks cool. It's golden. And Varus really feels like he's more cosplaying as a knight than actually, you know, being a knight right now, but. He's making it work, getting it done. And it's giving me lots of opportunity to improve my skills. Um, and this is definitely preferable to, you know, living on the lamb and scrounging for food. I've actually got quite a bit of money to, like, feed myself. I feel like Varus is probably going to, like, penny pinch. But, but you know, over it, overspend on food and, and things that he would think are necessities. That he can now afford. Especially when he goes and sells some of this magic equipment that we got. I don't think he's going to really understand how valuable it is. Uh, I probably won't be able to fetch a decent price for this robe, but you know, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to head down to that bakery first and then come back into town. That's my plan. It is a bit of a walk in the rain, but I think that's okay. Especially because we can take full advantage of, uh, you know, all this wonderful free time I finally find myself with to record some videos, so that's nice. Uh, pretty pleased with the 
the results of the series, like, you know, the traffic so far. It's only been about a day, but, um, I, I wanted to see how it would do if I, I didn't really tell anybody I was doing it, and I started a brand new greetings to you as well, a brand new channel, so here we are. What? This is not the bakery. I am brain off talking here. This one's the bakery. Good morning. Ah, you have returned. You must be craving another one of my wife's masterpieces, no? Yes. Yes, I am. All right, I'm gonna buy. I've got uh, a thousand points. I'm gonna you buy that for a song. You know, fruits and regular bread and stuff like that. But then um, I'm gonna buy all of his sweet rolls. You know, just just because. I can. Varys can have these things now, right? Uh, and uh, I'm gonna have a pie right now. I appreciate your business. You know, I feel like he's probably absolutely he's famished. I got so caught up in the adventure yesterday that I didn't even really notice the uh, the lack of you know eating that took place. Um. We're going to go ahead and uh, eat that. You know, sit here, have some lunch. Um, really just enjoy that we can afford it. All right, I need to sell this Jambaya, the staff, the axe, probably all of these little bits and bobs, but they're not heavy, so I'm not super worried about it. I want to see if I can get rid of this magic stuff from the necromancer fort we went into. And then I need to sell the extra mortar and pestle. Probably not the ingredients. Uh, and then, you know, these other little random things I've got. Because these are pretty valuable as well. So, oh, and I can maybe get rid of all that random stuff that I moved out of the chest and the uh, drawers in the, in the lodge. Because it's just junk from the leveled list or whatever. Of that house is for sale. I haven't seen anybody over there. I've wandered around the city a few times, you know? Maybe Varys will ask around about it when he's in town. Because I feel like... I don't know. I don't know if he'd like to live, you know, surrounded by people. In, in that way. Right. So the hardest to sell to is always the weaponsmith. So we'll start there. Oh, is what's his face up here? You are. Excuse me, sir. I'd like to learn uh, some basic. Um, I hope I can help. I I hope you can too. I'd like to learn some basic uh, armor and weapon maintenance, please. Pretty handy. All right. Needs to be fixed. So I'm gonna let him go ahead and fix all of this while we're here. Uh, but then I'm also going to, to take this first level of training. Alright, and we'll say that's how Varys Good actually day. learns okay. the the very, very basics of taking care of his own gear. Uh, you know, maybe he spent, you know, he spent some time there, some coin, uh, and, and just learned, learned the fundamentals of it, you know? And now I can justify maybe having a repair hammer in my inventory to do that. I'll, you know, when I'm out and about. Well met. Okay, you, you really like me. Of course, perhaps really, you really need like armor, me. A weapon. I have. Uh, I'm gonna try to get to 40. I don't know if he'll he'll go for it. He will. Okay. Now, he won't buy this staff, but he will buy the Jimbaya. My mercantile skill increased. Can I go up again? You know. Ooh. Um. I feel like. That's more. That seems a fair. I still don't know what these chalices are for. 
Uh, we'll get rid of the sticks. And then I want to get rid of the hourglass, the inkwell. I'm glad he'll buy the junk, the paintbrush, the quill. This nugget. All right, see, now I've got 1,300 gold. Yeah, I'll have to find buy up someone to buy this off me. It weighs 10. I don't want to keep that around. You know, it's very heavy. Um, And I guess have this Welkin stone as well. A fine transaction. Not going to use those. Uh, probably keep the soul gems to recharge any magic weapons I get. Um, Bye. You know, and then I'll move on to the general traders. But now that now that we've got... Uh, some coin we can actually like buy stuff we need like you yes. know what yeah a little food and drink will do you some good I agree I'm gonna buy his beer and his mead um I'm not gonna Another bother bartering for customer. it you know it's not that expensive Goodbye. Sharina is good with a blade. yeah I'll probably hit he the stalls here while I'm in town today she certainly can what um I Wondering if you would be interested. You have 1,300 coins. What are we haggling at? 21, you like me, 63. It's a really bad deal. But this guy's better at bartering than I am. I'm not gonna sell the robe here, obviously. I can't afford to. I can sell everything else, though. The doublet, because he'll like me a lot more after I sell the doublet. Because he's going to make a fortune on this thing. Um, I think that's okay. You know? Um, I'm happy to sort of actually have kind of my own personal fortune here, you know? And then I'll be keeping the robe. I'll try to sell that to someone else. Thank you. Come again. You're welcome. Very well. Um, but we'll stop by here and purchase. You. Yes. you know, just basically a shopping trip around town. A little food and drink will do you some good. I agree. Uh, I'm gonna take all your strawberries. Thank You're you. You're a fine negotiator. Some carrots. I appreciate your business. Varys is just kind of strutting about the marketplace in the rain, Hello. buying all the food. Go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, what do you sell? Ah. Uh, heavier. The shield, restore health potions. We made feather potions. Okay, so not only do they have alchemical properties, which Varys may know a bit about, but it's food. I'm just going to buy a couple of these. Another satisfying you know, customer. Like just cuts of ham you too all right and we'll go up to the general goods store to try and sell this magic robe uh, and then we'll head into the mages guild to sell that mortar and pestle unless we can do both here hello gundalas guarantees everything almost oh. free We're getting the sales pitch again and guarantees retail service at warehouse prices I know you've told me. <clears throat> Only quality goods for sale here. He's fifteen hundred coins. Okay, is there anything we want from him? I assume it automatically is worth that much. Yeah. And we're already haggling a bit. Well, I guess I could buy these. I need these. That'll give him another hundred and thirty coins. I'm gonna make all this money back. Yep. Could be useful to buy the feather and strength potion. This one's cheaper. No. Oh, and we still have this to sell too. Oh no. Okay. We've got all this to get rid of. Okay, we got we got some product to move here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the ritual robe. For 1700 I'm fine with that. That's a lot of gold. Uh, he's out. And I don't want anything else from him, necessarily. Thank you. Come again. You're welcome. 
most everything else except Bye. for the staff I can sell at the Mage's Guild. What do you want? Um All right. We're gonna play the Do You Like Me game. So you like these two. Really? But Ugh. not those two. Please. I'm embarrassed. But thank you. Welcome. Wish you that's just top goodness. Yes. What can I say? No, you do me too. Uh, I should have done it that way. Oh well. Oh, really? Interesting. It'll all work out. Is that so? Please, I'm embarrassed. This one you went pretty well. What a great Speechcraft story. increase too. Nice. Uh, anyway, for the you have equally valuable nonsense. Water breathing. It's a useful enchantment. I just want to get rid of this very heavy staff. Hard bargain. Thank you. I can sell some of this too. Got a lot of gold. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Brain health, keep that. Don't need these. Probably don't That's need a that. Good deal. I'll drive a hard stat draining poisons really really interesting that i that have so many of them price. your disease cure poison keep all my ingredients for now okay come back and see me again you i will do that i will do just that take care the mages guild i think yeah i guess we really don't need to anymore and I don't have the amulet. Time is it. Maybe we'll Varys will head back to uh, see Mizoga and launch on uh, like an apple or something. Wait. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Behold, I am brave Sir Varys of Leowin. A knight. Goes on noble quests. I'm actually an ex-con, but don't worry about it. You know? We're just getting it done. So we'll head back up. Now, so yeah, hang on, hang on. So our plan has to be... We've kind of... Varys has kind of explored all up in here. And yesterday they went out. They didn't go all the way to the border. But they're going to keep going south, I think on their sort of sweep for this fort. I'm a little <laughs> interested to see what'll happen, because this, you know, armor's insane. I wonder what it is equivalent to, because six seems high. I'd love to see how much a steel chest plate Gyrus blocks, you know? I wonder if it actually it does have steel stats. Mazoga? Are you actually kidding? Re Gods. Give me strength and patience. This is my side now. I. You switched beds. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Ready? I'm gonna go get me some black bows. Tag along if you like. No, you're still helping me. Remember. I'm ready when you are. Yep, we're still ready. Cool. Take care. All that hard work I did yesterday, completely out the window. Varys is like fuming as they walk up the road, you know? He sets up one side of the room, Mazoga takes the bed. He sets up the other side of the room, he comes back, Mazoga's in that bed too! No, no respect, no manners. It's really frustrating.
Like, it's just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. There's never anybody here. Hello, sheep. Maybe it's because it's always raining. <laughs> Leowin's a very, very rainy place. They gotta get to the bridge so they can uh, cross to the other side of the river. It may have actually been faster to head south and work their way up, but this is okay. Varys and Mazoga will, you know, they'll be alright. Varys is certainly no stranger to harsh weather and, you know, no shelter. And from, from the sound of Mazoga's shady past, she also knows what that's like. I think everybody will be okay. Like there's nobody cleans up the roads, man. The legion the legionnaires aren't aren't doing the work that we need them to. At least the rain will wash away the smell. Grab that Nern root. It's just over there. Oh, we got time. Aha! We're still learning how to sword. Rain's letting up. Go ahead. And... Cool. There's two of them on this island. Okay. Varys is still curious about what these might be, you know? Oh, you can actually slush too. Let's say they did that both times then. That's, that's actually good to know. Okay, and they're not gonna go into the creepy vampire castle. They are gonna head south past Fisherman's Rock on their quest to find DeGale's amulet for the Mage's Guild. Their nightly quest. I know I'm sure I'm gonna sort of frustrate people by not just doing the quest, but I feel like this is how Varys would do the quest, you know? He wouldn't know where to look. He's not from here. He doesn't trust a lot of people. He barely gets along with Mazoga. But I feel like he would just go out and look for an old fort. Um. Appears to be a troll in the middle of the road. Like, again, and since Varys definitely doesn't want to go fight it. It's gonna kill everybody that lives in this house. Oh no. Alright, well. Or it's gonna kill me. Shield up. Hopefully we can take it. Trolls are tough. Do your worst. An as clan troll? An Az clan troll? I don't know what that means. Okay. Varys learned more about swordplay today. Oh, you know what Derek Varys would probably also be doing? Is stopping to pick these flowers. He knows he can make potions or sell the alchemical ingredients to a mage. And since he has access to the guild hall, he may as well do that. His goals, people. He will own a house one day. And he'll never have to worry about being a destitute beggar ever again. This doesn't look like an Imperial Fort. But I'd like to get it marked on my map. Mazoga noticed something too. I heard the battle music just barely over the rain. 
only real life were so simple, you know? You're just like going around and like someone doesn't use their turn signal and the battle music starts playing. I don't see anybody. This place is big though. High walls, this courtyard thing. Flowers. Well, we've discovered whatever it is. Over here is Veyond. All right. Oh, wondering if we should head east or south from here. You know. There aren't a lot of great options, considering that it's already kind of getting late in the day. They've been traipsing about the countryside, and they've had no luck. And Varys had to spend so much of his time, you know, just kind of dealing with his own stuff in town. But he's determined, you know, he's going to find this place. Um... He's got nothing better to do either, and it's actually making him some decent coin, you know, exploring out here with Mazoga. He's well protected in his new armor, you know, he actually has weapons in, to defend himself. He's got a, a partner in crime, as it were. I mean, not that they're doing crime now, but, you know. He doesn't have to go out here alone without any equipment. So it's not so dangerous. That looks cool. Also not... Um, also not uh, an old Imperial Fort. That is another alien ruin. There appear to be all sorts of them in Cyrodiil. Something moves... Oh my god, it's enormous. Giant, giant mud crab in there. That seems dangerous. This. Mazoga's likely not interested in this the same way that Varys is, but. You know, he helped her with her quest, so she's gonna help Varys with his. And then, uh, she'll be off hunting Blackbow bandits. And Varys will move on to, uh, whatever his next sort of adventure is going to be. Now, I'm sure they'd both love to, um,. We're gonna hit the coast soon here. I'm sure they would both love to find a place out of the rain to rest, but it's, you know, not seeming like that's gonna happen. Did you find another troll? She's kicking its ass. Alchemy ingredients for me. What is Ashcan anyway? What are these trolls from? Maybe we should keep our weapons at the ready while we're out here. Mushrooms. Could be useful. All sorts of alchemy ingredients out here in the swamp. Bog beacons, stink horns. Oh, there's so many of them. <laughs> and the rain is let up. All right. So I think maybe Ferris and Mazoka will sit here and eat something, you know, for dinner. Because it is seven o'clock now. They've been wandering around all day. Um, now, Varys does have those ham strips. Maybe you'll have one of them. Um, 
No, I bought bread. Maybe with the bread and uh, and a carrot. We're assuming Mizogo brings her own rations as well. Oh, and he's gonna have a, a wash all that down with his mead here. Marked by a special fate, you rule your destiny. Do you choose to steer by the stars of the serpent? Uh, sure. Stars of the serpent shine upon you. You have gained the cobra's dance greater power. Like they go up to this, uh, I don't know what this does. Oh, that's really good, okay. No, that is something. This and the Ancestor Guardian. Oh, I can open locks. These are all daily powers. Shoot, okay. These are all things that Varus would actually probably do. But yeah, so he walks up here and touches the Serpent Stone and is given this new power. That's pretty cool. Anyway, now that they're out here, and it's getting late, and they haven't found the right castle. They haven't found any castle, come to think of it. It is just a complete and total slog through the swamp at this point. You know? Just getting wet and muddy. And they're going to have an outrageously long walk back, too. I'm not really going to... Oh, I found a little treasure trove here. Nice. I'm not really going to go out of my way to pick alchemy ingredients while we're doing this, but... I found another fort. Uh-oh. What's up, Mizoga? What do you see? All right, I still think Varus would probably prefer to stay out of the melee as much as possible, so I'm gonna use the bow at the beginning here. Classic Oblivion AI, gotta love that, gotta love that. A lot of rough terrain here. Uh-oh, there are bandits here. Varus is not a great, uh, great shot, and he's slow, you know, he's not used to wearing this big heavy armor. I'm okay with the bow in Oblivion. I guess it's more reflected in Varus' lack of ability to do damage than anything else, you know? Apparently this tree doesn't exist. Mazoka one hit killed that bandit. Still gonna collect lock picks and arrows from these bandits, though. Are we safe? Can I come in here? No, we're not. They all have bows, too. Really scary. I don't know where Mizoga ran off to. It makes me uncomfortable. There you are. Come on, we need to be in here. Ooh, Azoga? Oh my gosh. Okay. Now, Varus doesn't really have much taste for killing, but Mizoga's gonna get really hurt if he doesn't. Uh oh. Uh, if he doesn't keep fighting. So he's definitely going to help her. Uh -oh. Alright, so this is, this is the correct place. We got there. You know, maybe she would have been fine. Um, she's kind of badass. You know? Um, lock pick. Take the potions, take the lock picks. Right. Now it is very late in the day. 
because Oga's still trying to kill somebody. I don't know who she's trying to fight, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them in inside the fort. Okay, what time is it? It's nine o'clock in the, in the uh, at night. So they they traveled all day, right? They finally find uh, Fort Blue Blood, where blood ran blue, right? The, so they finally kind of figured out what the first clue was in an old imperial fort. Provided that maybe Mazoga has been around long enough to actually know the name of the place when they get here. Or perhaps because it's an old imperial fort, there's some kind of marking in the entryway. Um, and now what's left is for them to find the amulet. But it's late and they're tired, right? And they've been out all day. Um, you know, the last couple days, just they've been out looking for this place. <sighs> Zoka got shot in the neck and should probably be dead. But they're gonna go for it. Someone to our right. We can hear them walking around. Oh. Oh. Okay, these people are wearing heavier armor. That's scary. Don't never take me down. Oh probably my god. Mazoga does not need me. Okay, we can't go through here. I was sort of hoping we'd find a place to maybe barricade the door and rest, you know? The bandit camp outside is full of dead bandits, so that's not ideal. And this place still has outlaws in it as well. So there's not a lot of good options for Varys and Mazoga. I suppose with the adrenaline pumping the way it is, they'd uh, they'd probably be okay getting getting in here. All right, your turn. I distracted him. Oh, there's two. Ow. Right. Okay, I'm helping. Helping. I don't think I killed either of them, to be perfectly honest. Steel blocks three. My Karis blocks six. So it's well better than the regular steel stuff. All right, uh, maybe this way. Subtle. Wait here. Nice. Guess I'll get my bow back out. Oh, we're sneaking. I love that everybody's first instinct is like, because if 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 I wasn't just running in and shooting, they would start swinging before we could talk. Oh worn steel, get my arrow back, I suppose. This is kind of like a little armory, I guess. They've got a little weapons rack and some chests. Hmm. More bandits. This one's a wizard. We are knights of the White Stallion. Please lay down your arms. Uh, I'm not. Well, I mean, I'm actually exhausted, but... 
I'm going to learn how to throw fireballs. I feel like Varys still kind of has a vested interest in learning how to do some magic. For now, he's definitely pleased enough with his magic suit of armor. It's kept him well safe. Anything good? Manual of arms, manual of armor, iron gear. Not really. Anything up here? Treasure. That's about it. Her shoulder guards look so much cooler than mine. Do you see the hers are all shiny? Who's there? Nobody. Nobody's here. Whoa. Oh my gosh. I am actually I'm legitimately curious. Have I killed anybody? Yeah, I've killed ten crabs. Apparently I have credit on three. Three people killed. I thought I heard voices. Do not see anybody. There. That looks tough. There's two. We shouldn't worry. The magic armor is keeping us pretty safe. Oh. That works for me. I don't really need any more arrows. I've got loads of them. Got a pretty decent collection of extra weapons floating around, too. It's a shame they're not surrendering or letting us through the fort. You know, they don't need to fight us. We're not here for them. I'm gonna step on this so that Mazoga doesn't, you know, Mazoga it while I'm on it. Nice. Extra banditos. One standing still. There are three of them. The big one right there. Okay. He looks really strong. She got him. Magic sword's worth a thousand gold. Do your worst. Who, who's he? Oh, he's down here, and I've fallen. Okay. Well, I guess I don't really have much of a choice now. What? <laughs> he's tough. Three damage, weighs eight. Mine does four damage, and weighs the same, so that's better. gold. This whole adventuring business though. Much more dangerous than Varys <clears throat> once. What choice does he have now, you know? It seems everyone in Cyrodiil is itching for a fight. Oh my goodness. 
Take the key. I'll take them. Where's he getting this incredibly valuable gear? Not that I'm one to talk, obviously. There's two ways to go. All right. They go with the key. That works. One died in here. Dead Marauder. Okay. Imps. Four imps. Grumpy, grumpy imps. Now this is more something Varus would be comfortable with. Ryan just killing some imps. Nice blood smear. Look at that. That's a good smear. Do not fear. I will assist you however I can. That legitimately scared the shit out of me. I misclicked the talk button. Goodbye. I just wanted the gall from the imp. Aren't there four imps? One, two, three over there. Got it. An alchemy treasure box, not bad. This has got to be what we're here for. Gross. Magic battle axe. Magic amulet. I am over encumbered. Is it a lot? It is. This is only worth 157. Drop. Yeah. Always 45. Oh, look. You know what I can do? My magic power. My once per day magic power. Often go. Ooh. Oh, I have to pick this one. It's okay. Um, Look, uh, just stop right there, all right? Kalthar? I can't let you leave with that amulet. I need it right now. Why? I took the other one, and that should have been enough. I shouldn't have to go through all this just to get rid of her. It's not even as if I was going to keep it forever. I was going to give it back to her once I'd gotten what I wanted. That's not so wrong, is it? You stole the Gale's once amulet to- she helped to... me advance out of that place and step down, then she could have it back. Why did you have to get in the way? Why are you trying to ruin everything? Bro, just do your job. Like, Leowin's not that bad. Do your worst. I don't. Maybe you didn't have to kill him. We could have just knocked him out. Well. Okay, that happened. Is this the way out, or do we have to backtrack the whole place? This is the way out. All right. Where are we now? Looks like it'll be significantly easier if we just stay in town tonight. You know? I'd like to place a map marker there. All right. So, Varys and Mazoga will head back to town. They'll, they'll stay somewhere in Leowin. 
I guess we have to scrape the edge of this massive thing. Slogging through the swamp. Slogging through the swamp. And um, they'll they'll return the amulet in the morning for sure. They'll have business. Like Barry has a lot of business in town. Um, wrapping up this quest. Mazoga may go our own way, you know. She's interested in wiping out the rest of the Black Bow Bandits that have sort of, I guess, plagued her past or become the impetus for her to become the knight that she is now. So. Might be this might be it. They might be going their separate ways. There's a nerve root right there. Is there an inn out here on the pier? That's, you know, that's fine with me. The Admiral Cosmos Tavern. Can we... Bed? Yes. Bed? No bed? No bed? Okay. Rangers Guild. The dead pig. From ages ago. Kill her. Do we res her? I don't know. Sound off in the comments. I'm sure she'll still be there in the morning. <laughs> All right, Mizoga. Time to relax. I agree. Do not fear. I will assist you however I can. All right. Uh, if you want to stay in town, go ahead. If you want to go about your business, also fine. But I appreciate all your help with my Safe quest. Travels. You too. Yeah, there she goes. Off on her own. That's all right. So I'm just going to grab a room here at the Five Claws. Like I did when I first got to town. Oh, you're still awake? That's actually really convenient for me. Excuse me. Yes. I rent that room again. There's a bed for you if you need it. A mere ten gold for the night. Really appreciate that. Thank you. Very well. Room number two, just near the entrance. If you need food or drink, let me know. I will. Good day. Okay. Oof. What a long slog that was. It's four in the morning. Varys is totally exhausted. He's going to just go ahead and snack on a sweet roll and climb into bed. For like all day. <laughs> <laughs>